Welcome to the Human Longevity Podcast. I'm your host, Dr. Melissa Peterson. And today we're going to explore the science and solutions that will help you to look better, feel better, and live better longer so that you can have greater energy and vitality at any age and any stage of life. Welcome to the show. Today, we're going to explore this term, maybe you've heard it, maybe you haven't, called longevity escape velocity. Is it possible to actually escape the aging process? Now, as we've discussed in previous episodes, aging is a phenomena that literally begins the moment that you and I are conceived. Now, fundamentally, it's this kind of build up and break down. We are at our cellular level a metabolic organism. We need nutrients in to make energy. And then the system uses energy. It's going to use energy to keep up with the inputs and the demands of life. And we're going to use the energy to repair, to build, to grow, to evolve forward into day after day after day along this journey of life. Now, as we've discussed in some previous episodes, to really understand if we can escape aging and what longevity escape velocity actually means, we have to reacquaint ourselves with a few definitions. So the first one is life expectancy. And this means as a human, how long are we expected to be able to live? Now, the current research shows, hey, we know for sure that we have somebody that's lived to 122. Mm, It's only happened, you know, minimal times? And are the documents really accurate? Like, can we verify that this is how long the person actually lived? But from a life expectancy standpoint, we can say from a cellular biology level that, hey, given the right conditions, we should be able to make it to 122. Cool. Okay. Now, very few of us do, right? So that's a whole other discussion. And we're going to have a wonderful guest on, Dr. Mario Martinez, to really talk about centenarians. He is the expert on planet Earth on centenarians. So we're going to have a whole conversation just around that. But today, let's keep breaking down these terms. When we look at life expectancy, how long we can live, the next term is lifespan. That is how long we are living, okay? How many years from birth to death we are alive? On average, right now in the United States, is about to 79. Um, other parts of the world, you know, Japan, they're a little higher. Other areas of the world, they're a little lower. So every continent um, has different regions have a different life span, not life expectancy, but life span. So when we then look at the life span, we go, okay, well, that's how many years we're alive from birth to death, but how well are we living over those years? And that's the conversation called health span. How many of the years that we are alive are we living healthfully, well, free from sickness and disease and breakdown and prescription meds, right? Is it possible to do it? And on average right now, we're only making it to about 68 before we're really starting to show decline. So as you can tell, we have a gap, okay? We have a gap of how long we are living well versus how long we're living. And so the field of longevity really kind of looks at that last decade to say, is there a way to first and foremost improve that last decade? Does aging have to be inevitable decline? Do we have to break down and do we have to do it at certain ages and stages? Like, is it truly inevitable that by time we hit 50, certain things happen? By time we hit 60, other things happen. By time we hit 70, other things happen. The answer is no, because it's not linear. We think of time in a linear fashion, but at a cellular level, our biological age is how fast or slow things are working and building up and tearing down. So as I said in the, you know, just a moment ago that aging begins the moment we are conceived, this building up and tearing down. And of course, the longer we go through the years of life, right, the more demands on the system, the more energy we need to use, the more that things start to break down, meaning there's metabolic waste, there's byproducts of the result of the work the body has to do. So as we chronologically year over year get older by means of a birthday cake, (laughs) we have more waste to properly dispose of. But also as we chronologically age, we have more demands. We have more distressors that dysregulate 
powerful hormones and signaling molecules between our brain and our body. And it just gets harder for the body to keep up with the workload. And it means that we, as the custodian of our own health, have to become more diligent about really ensuring that we are supporting our body with the right tools to kind of do the right job to keep up with the demand. And often we're not, and it's not that it's your fault. Oftentimes we don't know how to really do it efficiently, effectively, and we're all just busy living our full lives, right? So now where does longevity escape velocity come in? Well, it's this beautiful kind of point where all of a sudden, can we actually escape aging? And the answer is yes. We now have proven molecules, modalities, pathways, activities, lifestyle behaviors, that to the extent that we choose to start to do these activities more consistently, what happens is we're giving the body the right tools, in essence, to do the right job. And we start to slow down that rate and pace of aging in the body. And so we then, in essence, we improve health span. So we're not breaking down as fast. We're recovering. We're staying functional. We're staying energized. We are meeting the demands that we're placing on the body. We have the right tools to do the right job. We have lots of energy. We stay clear. We stay focused. We stay vital. Okay. This is where it gets really interesting. The more we do that, the more we slow down how fast we age. And by time, like the idea is this, that chronological age is happening, okay? But our life expectancy, because we're slow, we're aging slower biologically than we are chronologically, we create this net net positive youthful gain, this age reversal phenomena occurs. And by way of that, we start to expand health span. We start to expand lifespan potential. And more importantly, can we actually expand life expectancy potential? And what they're projecting in the research right now is that with some of these longevity interventions, therapeutics, molecules, and modalities that we will see coming into the marketplace over the next five and 10 and 20 years, if we can just slow down aging enough to kind of enjoy what's coming, we're going to truly be able to live longer and longer and longer, better and better and better, where the tagline 100 becomes the new 60 is really actually true. It is said that the first person to live to 150 is already easily been born. And so this is a really fascinating conversation that this season, we're going to dive into more and more and more. I'm going to be bringing on some very special guests, top scientists. I'm going to bring on some incredible experts that will allow us to look at the, you know, not only the science of what's happening in the body that can slow down this rate and pace of biological aging, but we're also going to look globally in other other cultures where health span, lifespan, and even life expectancy, like they're all kind of hedging more toward that longer end. What do centenarians reveal to us? What do other cultures reveal to us? And how can we begin today, if you choose, kind of pump the brakes and just slow down that aging process so you truly can escape aging? Because age is truly just a number. We talked about that way back in season one in the beginning. And so now it's up to you. Curious, keep listening. We are going to bring so many fun strategies to you. And today I want to thank our sponsor, Rejuvent. Now this is my favorite product and I use it in our programs over at the Human Longevity Institute. We teach both our clinicians about the power of this molecule as well as we use it for our 12-week age reversal programs that we have to all of our clients that come in. And I use it because not only do we bring lifestyle and molecules and technology together to deliver with age testing, biological age testing to verify that we are allowing you to age in reverse. What we know with just this one molecule, this one product is you don't need 20 things. I use this because you only need this one product to get the most impressive biological age reversal results. Now, in their research out of Bucks Institute of Aging, on average, they show a 
41% age reversal factor. Kind of stunning. This is my favorite go-to product. If you want to get a kickstart and you're kind of not sure, you don't have the time and like, well, what do I do from a lifestyle standpoint? Tune in. We'll continue to make that super easy for you. Come over to Human Longevity Institute and check out our reversal program if you want. But just to get started today, go with the proven. Like you don't have to look any further. Thank you to Rejuvent. The code is below. It's in the show links. And so you're going to want to go check that out. And everyone, thanks for tuning in. So listen, now you know it's possible. You can escape aging. And it starts with a few simple things. Number one, knowing it's possible. Number two, remembering upwards of 75% of what speeds that up or slows it down is lifestyle driven. So when you begin to get really curious about the things that energize you and the things that deplete you, do more of what energizes, less of what depletes. And third step for that one, two, three punch home run is go ahead and grab your bottle of rejuvenate today so that you can have the research validated last path to age reversal. I'm Dr. Melissa Peterson. Thanks for tuning in.